We're going to look at how to make your video link active in your discussion post, making it easier for the viewers to get to your video. First of all, on your YouTube page, click the Share button, and then just copy the YouTube link. Go to Blackboard in your discussion thread and paste your link. And then you need to actually do an extra step. Highlight your link. Go up here in your formatting buttons to the Insert Edit Link area. Let me scoop this over. And paste your link in the link path. And then tell it to open in a new window. When you submit that, you're going to have an active link. Now, you may not have all three of these rows of formatting buttons because the first time you go into Blackboard, the formatting buttons are collapsed. All you need to do is click on the last button of the row and it will expand so that you can see all of your formatting buttons. But what if you wanted to actually put the video in the discussion post so it would play in the discussion post. Let's see how to do that. Let's go back to your video. Let's click on the share button and this time click the embed button. Now you have a series of text up here. This is HTML text. Highlight it and copy it. Then go back to your discussion post. Now if you post that text here, it's not going to do anything because it's HTML. You actually have to go to the HTML button, the code view, open up that window, and after all of the other HTML, go ahead and paste in that information from YouTube. Now when I update, oh, there it is. Now when I submit, the viewers of your discussion post will be able to click on the video right there within the discussion post. These two methods help make your videos more user-friendly for your audience. And in business, that's always a good thing.